kids. I am so happy to see you today. I hope you have a great smile on your face as you see me now. I'm counting on you to do your very best every single day. My elves and I always watch over you. You see, no harm touches you. This year too, I have a surprise. Even if not for a gift, I have a story to tell you. So please be all yours. This is the story of a Grinch who stole Christmas. Whether or not he was able to do it, come, let us find out. Every pool, down in pool, like Christmas a lot. Whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve hitting the bars, staring down from his cave with a sore grinchy frown, and there hanging their stockings. He smiled with a sneak, tomorrow is Christmas, it's practically here. Then he grilled within his grinch fingers, nervously drumming, I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming. For tomorrow he knew all the who girls and boys would wake bright and early. They rush for their toys and then all the noise, all the noise, noise, noise. That's one thing he hated, the noise, 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 noise. And then they would do something he liked to ease the fall. Every pool down in the pool lay, the tall and the small would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They would stand hand in hand and the hood would start singing. They would sing and they would sing and they would sing, 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 sing. And the more the fish thought of the new Christmas egg, the more the fish thought, I must stop this whole thing. What was the fish we ate? I have put up with it now. I must stop this Christmas. Come, come. How? Then he got an idea. He got an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do. The Grinch. Locked in his throat. Then he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. And he chuckled and clucked. What a great Grinchy trick! This coat and this hat I just like Saint Nick. The Grinch simply said, If I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. So he called his dog Max. Then he took some red thread and tied a big horn on the top of his head. Then he reached Pooh's home and slid down the chimney. A rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it, Then so for the Grinch, he got stuck only once for a moment or two. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace flew when the little whose stockings all hung in a row. These stockings he cleaned are the first thing to go. Then he stuck all the food up the chimney with a glee. And now, Grin the Grinch, I will stuff up the tree. Then the last thing he took was the lock for their fire. Then he went up the chimney himself, the old lion. On their walls he left nothing but took some somewhere. 
And the one strip of food that he left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. It was quarter past dawn. All the moose still a bed. All the moose still a snooze when he packed up his sled. Packed it up with the presents, the ribbons, the wrappings, the tag, and the tinsel, the trimmings, the trappings. Three thousand feet up, up the side of Mount Crumpet, he rode with his load to the tip top to dump it. Oh, poo, to the hoops, graciously humming. They are finding out that no Christmas is coming. They are just waking up. I know what they will do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two. Then the who's down and who will will all cry. Boo hoo! He stared down at who will. The Grinch popped his eyes. Then he shook. What they saw was a shocking surprise. A boo down and who will. The tall and the small was singing without any presents at all. Without something, he 
pieces. Today I'll be making a caramel bread pudding for Christmas. So here I have powdered sugar for that, custard powder, bread for which I have cut the corners and have cut it into pieces and some normal sugar, vanilla essence and a jar of milk. So I'll put the bread which I have cut into pieces into a grinder and I'll grind it and make it make crumbs of it. Boil the milk for 10 minutes. Now I'll be adding the custard powder which I have mixed water and made it liquidish. Now I'll pour it into the milk. Now I have added the custard powder and the milk has started to become thick. As it becomes thick, I'll add the crumbs in it and uh, cook it for 2 to 5 minutes. I have added the crumbs and I'm mixing it slowly so that there are no lumps in it. And as I start, as I keep doing it, you can see the mixture gets thick. Now I'll be adding sugar and vanilla essence to my mixture. As you can see, it has become a perfect thick mixture. I'll be adding powdered sugar, just half a cup, because the custard powder has its own sweetness in it. As you can see here, I have added few drops of vanilla essence in it for great fragrance and taste. Now, I'll keep it aside and let it cool down. My caramel, uh, my custard mixture is ready. Now, I'll go ahead with my caramel and let it come down to room temperature. Caramel is ready and I've kept it aside to cool it down. Now, I'll uh, be pouring this into these glasses and keep it in the refrigerator for two hours and it has come down to room temperature so I'll wait till it gets set then I'll start with my garnishing I have poured the mixture into the glasses now I'll be refrigerating it for two hours
cheer as Christmas is here. Time to bid farewell this year. The months have been rough, yet we have remained tough. Let us celebrate and pray that 2021 turns out to be special in every single way. A year that will bring us joy, good health and peace, spread love, happiness and put an end to disease. Oh Santa, please visit our homes with your bags full of these.